Hi, my name is Mark Cooper and I'm the project manager in the regeneration team for Bristol City Council. I work on the Green Gateway Regeneration Project. The community engagement started back in 2019 with the development of the community place principles and, and they've directly informed the design briefs and the vision and the development principles set out in the regeneration framework. We've refined those community place principles as we've moved through the process and we've done more community engagement as we've moved through. Um, so there's been community walkabouts and workshops. We had an artist in residence uh, who helped to uh, create more creative opportunities for the community to get, to get involved in giving their thoughts and opinions and aspirations for change for the area. And then we've also engaged with businesses to learn more about them, learn what businesses are here, what their needs and aspirations for the future are, as well as other stakeholders such as landowners in the area. There's about 30 different landowners, Bristol City Council just being one of them. Uh, so we've been engaged in the landowners and other organisations like the Environment Agency, for example. Um, what sort of specific things have the community told you that, that are reflected in the framework? Uh, the number one community priority has always been the delivery of affordable, larger family homes. That's been really clear from the community engagement programme from the beginning. And um, and we have we've integrated that priority into the regeneration framework. Uh, what we've done is include more guidance on uh, an appropriate range of sizes of homes, for example. We know that there's a lot of overcrowding in this part of the city and so that's a key community priority and something that we've, we've tried to really reflect in the regeneration framework. Other priorities have been around uh, skills and training and jobs for local people, particularly young people as well as space for young people to, to spend the time, whether that's indoor or outdoor. There is a number of community organisations and youth organisations in the area already and so the safety of young people uh, and spaces for them to spend time has been a key community priority as well. So that's another thing that we've tried to emphasize in the framework is the need to work with and support and help organizations that provide important community services to grow their reach into the community.